Fatso does it again. 52-47, biggest lead of this half for Southwestern Louisiana. But he likes his license plate better. Thrill Hill. Thrill Hill. Uh, this is an important offensive possession for the Aggies. They need to get the ball inside, but their big guys are coming to the outside and taking outside shots. There they got it low to Hickman, and he's fouled. But and it might be Boudreaux who picked up the foul. If so, it's his third. And you have to give credit to Marcus Stokes. He's playing a very good defensive game, pushing the big players out for New Mexico State, not letting them get the ball where they want it. So Chris Hickman's going to go to the free throw line. He was two for three from the line first half. Had a great game against DePaul in the upset a couple of days ago with 13 points and five rebounds. has started at center the last eight games with a heck of a job he's the biggest guy on the Aggies team at 6 9 and he can make it a three point ball game if he hits this and one of the players returning thrill Hill doing his thing and his team's up in front by three raging Cajuns Southwestern Louisiana lead the number 12 seeded New Mexico State Aggies 52 to 49 and with East Tennessee State in trouble against Michigan one of these teams it appears will be the lowest seed to advance to the Sweet 16 and the winner of this one going to the Sweet 16 in Albuquerque Todd Hill he's been hot this half and got it 54 49 The Aggies of New Mexico State right now in need of a basket, trailing by five, the largest margin for the Raging Cajuns of southwestern Louisiana this half. Brad Nessler and Ann Myers in Tempe, Arizona with you, and boy, Eric Trailer picked a big time to bury that one. This Mexico's is a game that seesawed back and forth from the beginning, Ann. It's been an up-tempo game by both teams. They've been running. Good ball movement. Turnovers have also been a key, and so have the three-point shots won by Michael Allen. Will be a foul on Marcus Stokes. Here's what's gone on so far. Michael Allen, who just missed that shot, is four for five from three-point land. You see the turnover story, and New Mexico State has really made the Raging Cajuns pay for those turnovers with 19 points off the miscues. And with 14 minutes left in the ball game, little Sam Crawford, who's been the star of the West Regional so far at 5'8, brings it up with his chance to try to bring his team back to within a point. Benjamin with a left hand doesn't get it. Ball loose, last touch by Southwestern Louisiana. That's Dee Dee Crawford, Sam's wife. The former cheerleader who's cheering for the old man today. And he's done another nice job. 12-point day so far for Sam Crawford. Crawford was raised by his uncle, Ron Carter, who played with the Lakers. Big inspiration for, for Sam was Norm Nixon. Inside, Reed had it blocked and got it back. Cliff Reed strong with a right hand. That's goaltending on Mackey. Cliff Reed has done a good job on the offensive boards for New Mexico State. They've struggled this game. And you've got to give credit to Southwestern Louisiana as far as one of the reasons the Aggies are struggling on the boards. The crowd here has just loved the action from these two teams from the outset of this one because neither is supposed to be in this game having upset the ball in Oklahoma respectively to get here. Oh, that's a great play by Chris Hickman. The ball is dribbled right into him. He grabs it away and they're going to call a foul on him. Marty Fletcher. He's got two months left on his contract and his wife Cynthia looking on. She is into the game as much as her husband, if not more so. I think she just let the ref have it there. <laughs> it was a call for their team. <laughs> the Aggies in a zone now. Stokes kicks it back outside. Nice job on defense. Good ball movement by Southwestern Louisiana. Allen. Hasn't hit a two-pointer today. All his field goals have been from three-point range. Hickman, tough on the rebound. And we've got a jump ball, and...
here's how those two teams got here. DePaul surprised by the Aggies, and the Raging Cajuns picked off four seed at Oklahoma. So one of them going to Albuquerque, and later we've got the top seed in the West UCLA against Louisville, and that should be a great one as well. Here it's 54-53. Southwestern Louisiana leading New Mexico State with 12.44 left in the ballgame. Boy, you're glad it's not a quiet gym. <laughs> <laughs> Those rest would really hear Cynthia Fletcher. Cynthia Fletcher. I wonder if she's thinking about that two months left on her husband's contract. I would doubt it now that he's in the second round of the NCAA tournament. One of his players this week said, I've had more questions about whether Coach Fletcher's coming back than I have about who we're playing. Great defense by William Benjamin knocking that ball away. Here's Sam Crawford. Can't get it. Stokes way up there for the rebound. Raging Cajuns, three on two. Hill. He's been big this half. Eight this half, ten for the game for Todd Hill. Mr. Thrill is playing. Benjamin, he can't get it. And the ball still loose and picked up by Starks. Neil McCarthy says that this team of New Mexico State has been a team of destiny, but the ball has not been falling their way. Sam Crawford at 5'8", one up against Todd Hill at 6'9", and Sam got the better of it. Neil McCarthy's Aggies trailing by three with 11.54 left in this one. Trip to the Sweet 16 in Albuquerque at State. And we'll see a little backcourt pressure coming up from the Raging Cajuns. Usually you don't see that against this team because of the ball handling of Sam Crawford. Sam's going to take his time. He'll meet Michael Allen at midcourt. And they trap Sam. Got it. It's a trailer. Crawford dishes. Thompson on the drive. No foul call, and Stokes comes up with a loose ball. We've got a raging Cajun down as Todd Hill takes it the other way. Todd Hill with another one. Mackeon is down. Cedric Mackeon down, hurt after that collision inside with a no call. Todd Hill did a good job. I'm sorry, um, Thompson did a good job as far as New Mexico State going inside to try and create a foul. He's got two guys going up against him. Watch him go up. He pump fakes, brings it back down. There's some body contact. And Cedric Mackeon goes down. We don't see where, though. Here's a good angle right here. See Mackeon from behind. He comes across. His ankle looks like it just gives out on him. Well, that's a tough no call, isn't it? <laughs> Mackeon's going to get up with a little hitch and a giddy up. But there's Vivian McCarthy, Neil McCarthy's wife, looking on. It's 58 53. And the Aggies, uh, Neil McCarthy on the short end right now with 11 29 to play in the ball game. Todd Hill, who hit that last basket, 10 points this half. 12 for the game. He's 5 for 6 from the field this half after being a rather pathetic 1 for 9 in the first half. So he has really put his game together here when his team needs him the most. Sam Crawford up slowly. His team trailing by 5 points. Welcome those of you just joining us as southwestern Louisiana leads New Mexico State by five. A battle of 12th and 13th seeds here in the second round West Regional game. And it's a game that is seesawed back and forth and looks like it might go right down to the wire. 58-55 with under 11 minutes to go. Crawford with 12 points and seven assists, but he has not been as spectacular. Southwestern Louisiana has really shut him down, and other guys for the Aggies have to step up. Hill's been feeling it this half, but he missed that one. And little Sam Crawford actually kept that rebound alive for Trailer. Chance to cut it down to a two-point rage in Cajun lead. Trailer missed the three. Trailer usually doesn't take a lot of threes. It's been cold so far throughout the West Region. He had six points the other day, but it's not the spot they want him shooting from. Eric Trailer has really struggled to find any kind of spot that he wants to take a shot from. Tony Moore misses. The rebound comes off to Malcolm Leak, and here comes Sam Crawford doing his weave. Mark 
Thompson had it partially blocked. Boudreau picks up the loose ball. Neither team getting good shots right now with under 10 minutes left in the ball game. Moore tried to feed it inside, and Trailer got a hand on it. Defensively, the Aggies going into a man-to-man. -man. They've been switching from the 2-3 matchup into the man-to-man. -man. Reed trying to stay with Todd Hill, and Hill walked with it. Here's the lowest siege to make the Sweet 16. Cleveland State was a 14 seed back in 86 when they pulled some surprises. And as you can see, one of the group here will join the rest of that list because we've got a 13th seed out in front of a 12th seed in this one. Pace has slowed down a little bit. Teams have not taken really the high percentage shots that they were earlier. Benjamin guarded by Tony Moore. Aggie's really struggling to get the ball inside of their big guys there. It finally goes to Hickman, but Hickman, nice fade. Big shot by Hickman because he did fade away from the basket. His biggest games of the year come at the biggest time of the year. Against DePaul, he had 13. Now he's got eight. And it's a one-point ball game. Starks. He was red hot in the first half. That's his first basket of the second half. Very quiet, but for New Mexico State, they do not want to get him hot along with Michael Allen. Crawford looks inside of Hickman again. Aggies have really had trouble holding on to the basketball. It's just been fumbled out of their hands quite a few times. Crawford, three. Starks got the weak side rebound. Tony Moore loads. Crawford on the run. He's got Reed out in front of him. Reed jams it. Seven fifty-seven left in this one. A game that has seesawed from the beginning. Southwestern Louisiana with a one-point lead. They led by three at halftime with Ann Myers. I'm Brad Nessler. This one has been going up and down the court since the opening tip. And here comes the Aggies with a chance to lead. Nice job defensively by Tony Moore to break it up. Edie Crawford can't believe it. Neither can Neil McCarthy. 7.36 to go in the ballgame. Sam Crawford doing his thing, dishing off to Cliff Reed to make it a one-point game. Championship on CBS. Southwestern Louisiana is led by as many as five this half. Their lead's been cut to one. Sam Crawford with a dozen points and nine assists. The Aggies have really made it important that they score off the turnovers. But they are definitely having fun with this play from Crawford to Reed. They cut the lead to one. And this was off a turnover, and that's how they keep go staying in the game. And that's the kind of game that Reed likes. Sam Crawford, that was his ninth assist to go with his 12 points today. It's one of the most favorite things that Cliff Reed likes to do is dunk. <laughs> and when you got a passer like that, it makes it easy. Allen working against Benjamin. Allen takes it all the way and takes the shot himself. And Allen, after hitting the shot, picks up the foul. Marty Fletcher, the head man of the Raging Cajuns. His team up by three, and Todd Hill, who's been his most important man this half, coming back into the lineup. Hill's five for six from the field this half. For New Mexico State, it's Hickman, Crawford with the ball in hand, Reed, Leak, and Benjamin. For Southwestern Louisiana, Todd Hill, Byron Starks, who just lost his man. Leak, rebound inside, and he's fouled going up. And it's Hill that will pick it up. That's his second. Rebounds have been pretty even in this game. USL with 34, New Mexico State with 33.